Hi, I am here to talk about my iPhone shopping and research that I did in March of 2017. So anything I tell you here is regarding information that was current as of March 2017. And I had not bought a new smartphone in many years, so I upgraded to an iPhone and I my choices came down to the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6S and I and I then I ended up getting the iPhone 7 and then it became a matter of which iPhone 7 to get as far as modems go and I'll get into that in a minute but I did a lot of research talked to a bunch of people and read a lot of stuff so I thought I would put it together in really easy information for someone that wants to go through this they don't have to do all the work I did this will make it a lot easier so here's the deal they're pretty comparable phones but the iPhone 7 is superior in many ways actually pretty much all ways except for some people would say that the audio headphone line out they'd rather keep it the old school three and a half millimeter instead of the lightning plug and yes that has its advantages um, which you can read about more but uh, it was the only thing that I you know that maybe is not what I prefer but I'll deal with it it's not a huge deal I'll just have to adapt so here's the deal um, the iPhone 7 has optical image stabilization and I prefer that over uh, not having it. I'm going to be shooting lots of photo and video with this which will also take up a lot more storage so I went with the 256 over the 128. By the way, so I chose the iPhone 7 and you can pause this and read all of it later if you want but I'll just kind of go through it quickly right now. Uh, by the way, on the iPhone 7 if you get the, th the smallest storage size, 32 gigs, for some reason, there's something about the computer inside the phone that it saves information slower. It's, a, it's not as good horsepower. So you can read about that online, but just know that if you get the smallest, it saves slow. So you want to get 128 or 256. The iPhone 6S maxes out at 128. Um, the display is better on the iPhone 7 for technical reasons I don't fully understand, but I, I'll go with better display. Uh, the chip is better. It's just more modern, faster, more efficient. I don't know much about it. If you do get the iPhone 6S, uh, then there are, you, you read about chip gate and how TSMC's A9 chip is better than Samsung's A9. One, and so the thing is iPhone makes the 6S with two different kind of chips depending on which one you get. And you'll have to research online and find out how to tell the difference and why it's important to get the TSMC. It's not just because of the two hours longer battery life. I think there's more to it. But moving on, the iPhone 7 has a better flash. It's a fa faster on the network, on the LTE network. It either gets up to 450 or 600 megabits per second as where the iPhone 6S is only 300 megabits per second. Uh, I don't care about this stuff. Like I said, the audio headphone line out on the 7 is lightning adapter instead of three and a half millimeter. The iPhone 7 can shoot RAW. Oh, also, I don't have it here, but the iPhone 7 shoots 4K. I don't. Oh, the 6S does too as well, so that's why I didn't put it here. But the water resistance that they put on the iPhone 7, um, they don't have on the 6S. So all those things add up to iPhone 7. That's what I wanted to get. But once I decided on the iPhone 7, I thought, well, I found out there's different kinds of iPhone 7s. Depending on the iPhone model, and you can see it on the box and on the back of the iPhone and in the settings, there's these four different kinds. Two here, two here. These are model numbers of the iPhone 7. Well, these model numbers have a modem made by Intel with this model number. And these make their modem, use, use a modem made by Qualcomm with this model number. And if you go to the AT&T or T-Mobile store, this is the kind of this is this is the uh, modem that you'll get and in this model number they'll sell you these model of iPhone 7s with this modem and Verizon and Sprint will sell you this model of iPhone 7 with this modem in it and why that's important is because this kind on AT&T and T-Mobile it'll get you GSM which is around the world but it won't get you CDMA Verizon and Sprint's Qualcomm modem iPhone 7 will get you CDMA and that's important if you're ever in an area where they haven't put up GSM network towers yet or however that works there's not GSM and that is still the case in some parts of the world um, rural areas mountains forests the further you get from cities at least in 
uh, the U.S. it's like that. And I think I've heard that in some parts of Asia, it's still only CDMA. Who knows where else? So the point is, if you're going to be going anywhere outside of populated United States, you might as well get the one that has, that has capability to reach both of these networks, not just GSM. And by the way, there's also WCDMA and TDSCDMA. That's more unique uh, situations that I don't know anything about. But what I do know is GSM and CDMA are the main uh, connection means in, around the world. So I wanted a phone that will get me both kinds. Because sometimes I'm in the hills of California or who knows what country I'll be in for work or travel. So I want to make sure that I can maybe pick up a local SIM card or use my own SIM card, what, whichever way, and make sure it gets connectivity in a CDMA area. Plus, CDMA, I read, uh, has better um, connectivity through walls. The, the, the signal travels better through walls and dense areas. So I guess that could mean whether it's skyscrapers or you know densely populated city areas or forests or maybe uh, hills. It travels better over distances and through walls. So because of that, I chose to get the Qualcomm. The problem was I have a T-Mobile plan, and I prefer T-Mobile's plan currently as of March 2017. But because of reasons I don't fully understand, when you go into the Apple Store, they'll sell you one of the, if you want to get on the payment plan, you have to either get an, a, a phone that's affiliated with one of these four, uh, one of these four carriers. You can buy it right outright for the you know hundreds of dollars without getting on a payment plan, and then put it on whichever network you want. You know you you can get a this this phone outright, but I wanted to get on the payment plan, so I had to jump through some hoops, and I'm going to talk about that. The hoops turned out to be pretty simple, but finding that those hoops to jump through was a bunch of research. I spoke to like three or four different people at the Apple store, I went to all the different carriers, and nobody knew about it until finally I met one woman at the Apple store in San Diego Fashion Valley Mall, and she told me this. What you do is you bring in someone that already has a Verizon account plan phone number. So my girlfriend, she has a Verizon phone. So what? And she, they have to come in there in person with their phone for legal reasons, because they come in and they give authorization and password and things like that. So she came in with her iPhone six, but I don't know if it has to be an iPhone. Maybe it does. So that's something you want to find out that I don't know about. So. She came in, she gave the authorizing info for her Verizon account, password or PIN number or whatever, to the Apple Store staff member, and that member then used her phone number, not her phone and not her current SIM card, but her phone number and her account to activate the new iPhone that I'm buying. So, uh, so that new iPhone, temporarily, during this moment in the store, was set up on Horizon with my girlfriend's phone number. So or whoever you bring in uh, for your Verizon person's current phone number is what it'll be set up on. And remember, we're getting we're doing this with a Verizon phone, and maybe you could do it with a Sprint phone too, because we want this model number that has this modem made by Qualcomm. So after her phone, after my new phone got activated with her phone number. They then took my new phone's SIM card out of that phone, put it back into her pre-existing phone that she walked in with, so she got rid of her old SIM card, and that was it for her. She's done, or your, your Verizon person will be done and can walk away with their pre-existing phone and, and plan completely unchanged. They still have their Verizon phone with their Verizon phone number and the same plan they had, but it's a physically a new SIM card, but that new SIM card is activated and moved from my new phone back to their pre-existing phone. Then my new iPhone is now activated and it's turned on and it's operating and it's ready to use whatever SIM card of whatever carrier carrier you want. So again, I wanted my T-Mobile carrier because of the better the currently better uh, plan for me and we put that so we then put my T-Mobile SIM card into the new iPhone 7 
and then we did that, and then we contacted T-Mobile, my carrier, to affiliate the new iPhone 7 with the T-Mobile SIM card. And it, it wasn't real difficult to do, it wasn't anything uh, you know, real complicated, but I'm glad the Apple staff member was there to walk me through the process because there was some little hiccup or something they knew how to fix. And that was it. Then my phone was done, and you can dial and text and get online and operate it as a phone. So that's the process, and uh, I, I hope this helps somebody get through um, get through this process quicker than I did. For me, it took a lot of time figuring all this out, and I thought, like, man, if someone could just put this together and make it easy. So I hope this was easy. Um, I went with the iPhone 7, and it only applies if you go with the iPhone 7. That's when you have this modem pickup. They call it modem gate online. You can read about it. and. Uh, and then this is what I did to make sure I could get a a uh, phone that works on GSM and CDMA and do it from the Apple Store and get on the payment plan. If you don't care about the payment plan, you can just walk in and pay for the whole thing outright. Then you don't need to you don't need to go through this process. You can just get the fully unlocked SIM-free phone that's not affiliated with any carrier. And then, but make sure you get this. These are, these are important. These model numbers are important. Make sure you get those. That has a lot more capability than these. These, not so good. These, good. So I will highlight that. Yellow. There we go. Or red. Okay, so that's good. All right, that's it. Goodbye. If you like it, I guess, what do you say? What am I supposed to say? Like, subscribe, or just or just pass it on to people. I don't care if you like or subscribe it. Just make sure you pass it on to people so other people will benefit from this as well. All right. Bye, everyone.